everybody, today I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial. It's going to be doing snow leopard eyes. Of course, you can do regular leopard, or if you want to get kind of crazy with some colored stuff, you can do like a Lisa Frank leopard if you want. I have another Halloween video. It's just like a hack about how to decorate your yard, which isn't very interesting. This is my first tutorial. I hope it goes well. I've done this before, just like practicing or whatever and this is probably what I'm gonna do for Halloween as well please excuse the mess behind me I'm on the floor right now because I wanted a good light for the video to show you how to do the makeup and if the light goes in and out my cat's in the window at the moment so if it gets a little dark it's probably because he moved or whatever so let's get to it and I'm going to be doing a snow leopard look and you need a palette that has gray colors in it. This one is the Wet n Wild Tunnel Vision. And I'm probably going to be using the brow bone color over here. And of course you can use the eyelid color. It's just a little bit darker. And if you're comfortable with pigment, pigments, you can use a gray pigment. This one is Timberwolf from JCAT Cosmetics. And you also need some kind of base. You can of course use a primer. I've used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk if you want a lighter color and then there's also Guilty Grey by Room Wolf Scandal Eyes and the color tattoo in the color Audacious Asphalt. You can use any of these as your base and black mascara and black eyeliner. I'm going to be using a pin because we're going to be drawing the spots on so that it looks more like a leopard of course and it's just easier to use a pen if you're doing the drawing so let's get to it so with this is probably gonna be pretty sparkly because I don't have a matte gray and this base is sparkly as well I'm using the audacious asphalt from Maybelline color tattoo and please excuse my raspy voice because I just started a job where I have to kind of scream over music and working two 11 hour shifts this weekend, one right after the other. Kind of left my voice a little bit messed up. So I'm just going to be doing it on one eye. I'm going to be doing a regular leopard on the other eye. And it's going to be a very similar technique. I have another Maybelline color tattoo for that. That's kind of for brown color. And I just put the color tattoo all over the lid up to the brow bone. A little bit heavier on the lid itself. And then put the brow bone color from the Tunnel Vision palette from Wet n Wild all over. And <clears throat> it's a little bit of an outrageous look because I'm doing it for Halloween. If you want to go out in this look, it's up to you. I'm not going to stop you. But if you have some kind of special occasion, I guess you could do it for that. Where you just carefully make, and it doesn't have to be perfect, almost like C shapes. And you can do them on the lid, you can do them on the brow bone really up to you. You can do a lot of them. You can almost complete like a circle on there if you want as well. I like to do it just kind of in the corner. And apparently I like to do backward C's as well. So there it is so far. And excuse if there's any noise coming from the background because I have my window open. I'm trying to enjoy the cool fall weather. And whenever you're happy with the amount of spots on there, you can do you can line your eye before or after you do the spots on there. It's just up to you. I'm gonna do some on the lid itself. And make sure that if you do any on the lid to make sure 
that it's dry before you open your eye and you don't mess up anything. It's looking a bit empty on the outer lid here. But there's that and you're welcome to do it kind of underneath as well. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it freehand, if you go to the drugstore, they have these kits as well. These spots are just kind of big, but as you can see, the model up here has them all around her eye. And all of these colors in the palette over here, this is another Wet n Wild product, are creams. So if you're comfortable doing creams, it comes with that palette, the stencil, and a pencil down here for your eyeliner. And there's a bunch of different kits like this. There's one that's like a Day of the Dead theme. One of them I think is kind of like a vampire theme. Just whatever you want to do. And so if you want to do more than this, go ahead. If you want to put on your eyebrows at this moment, you're welcome to. As you can tell, I don't really have any eyebrows. This is my natural eyebrow state. And of course you can finish it off with your mascara of choice or if you want to since it's Halloween put on some fake lashes whatever makes you happy so there's that and we're gonna move on to the traditional leopard print and for that I have the Maybelline color tattoo in caramel cool and as you can see it's kind of like an orangey brown kind of color again that one is metallic as well and I actually found this one at the Dollar Tree and I found they had seven different colors of the color tattoos at the Dollar Tree so I got like seven for a dollar or seven for the price of one in the regular store and for the eyeshadow I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette and I'm going to be using the sun color down here because it's a nice like warm gold color so again you just put this all over and since this one is new it's a little bit easier to spread on the lid up to the brow bone fun stuff going on here so there's the base and I'm going to be, for the spots, I'm going to be using a brown eyeliner. You're welcome to do black if you want to. This one is a Physicians Formula brown pin eyeliner. And just put the sun color all over the lid. And there's also a Saturn color in here that's a little bit more yellow. You want to do that one instead. Go ahead. Whatever makes you happy. I'm sorry if this is a bad tutorial. It's my first tutorial, so I'm trying my best. So, and you can line your lid here, or if you want to wait and do the spots first, it's up to you. Got the little cat flick going on. And just go crazy doing the spots. And this pin's not doing so well with the spots. But you get the point, I think. And there goes my phone. I'll be back in a second to show you the completed look. So I ended up just using the black eyeliner on this one and it went a little wonky and a little bit too exaggerated but like I said you can do it around the eye or just on the eyelid itself and so I'm going to attempt to do a crazy like Lisa Frank kind of leopard thing with this after I take care of the cat crying and take this off I might do like two different colored eyes I'm not sure yet let's see how it goes I'll see you in a second after I take this off and put this on. And for this one, I'm going to be using a Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner and the Wet n Wild Color Icon Poster Child Palette and the NYX Milk 
pin. So I'll see you in just a moment. I just tried to do the Lisa Frank like leopard print eye thing with these crazy colors. It didn't really work out on me, but if you want to do it, just grab a very colorful palette like this and colored eyeliner, even though it would look good with black spots as well. If you do this, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Happy Halloween. If you don't celebrate Halloween, have a good rest of the month. Enjoy some apple cider or whatever. And I'll see you next time.